The Mona Lisa was buried here. We need to go and find her tomb and excavate it. They found her bones, oh which were all God. crushed, and her skull was missing. Who stole the skull? That's good clickbait. Hey guys, welcome back for episode numero quattro. quattro. We are currently sitting on a train and I'm about to fall asleep because I'm jet lagged and exhausted. We're on our way to Florence. Good night. Good night. Oh, I'm so cringy. I can't say anything with a good accent. <laughs> We're uh, in Florence. Behind you right now is quite possibly one of the nicer viewpoints I've seen on this trip. Oh, that's so nice of you to rub it in, Sam. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Definitely has a very, very different feel yes. to Venice. Much more open and spacious. Oh, yeah. tour, a walking tour, find out about the mysterious life of the Mona Lisa, my girl Mona. So I just want to pop in here and remind you guys of why I'm doing this series and why the Mona Lisa means so much to me because this video is kind of dedicated to learning more about the Mona Lisa. When I was 14, I went on a trip with Sunshine Dreams for Kids. I had just lost my vision. I had just lost all my friends. I was dealing with depression and them granting me this dream to go on a shopping spree in Paris was like the best gift I could have gotten. It was the one bright spot in a really difficult year of my life. I thought, what better way to get to know Mona, or I guess Lisa, by learning about her history. Okay, back to the episode. She was telling me that her and her husband, who's from here, fell in love when they didn't even speak the same language. And it's like the most romantic, iconic Italian story. I just love it. I used to make it sound so great, and I'm like, no, it was really awkward. And I told her this tour is really finding me an Italian husband. We're gonna work on it. Where should we go from here? To her, to the place where she was born. Um, but what this is, this ring that you feel right here, and then at the top, there's sort of kind of another Ooh. loop. This ring, this would have been for horses. So, oh, right. to tie up the gallop. <clears throat> My horse is officially tied. Okay, bye, love you so much. We're gonna go inside. All right, gallop, <clears throat> I'm keeping you. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> Neither of us would survive in Italy without <laughs> each other, so. And so this building right here, this is where Mona Lisa was born. Ooh. I wonder if her ghost lives here. Oh, <gasps> oh! I also, we'll go to where her ghost lives. This is very important. Oh my! Um, and so this little street that nobody ever comes down. This is where the Mona Lisa, where it all started. Where to next? We're going to go to uh, visit where she lived with her husband. Uh, this street is called Via dei Tornabuoni, and it is the very fancy street in Florence. Ooh. So anything Uchi, Gucci, Pucci, <laughs> it's all I here. love a good Uchi. Or a good Uchi. <laughs> uh, this is where the fashionable come to 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 see and to be seen. Oh, is where are we? <laughs> he wants to go to grandma. I love that. He's like, I'm done with the tour. Yeah, he's like, I'm done with the fashions. Like, I've had to be on camera all day here. You take him for a bit. <laughs> I trust Suze. Oh. She hasn't done me wrong so far. Oh my gosh. Also, I would like to shout out Sam for his impeccable ability to walk backwards <laughs> in busy, dangerous places. And the reason that this became like the street is because Gucci uh, put their their flagship store in here, Ferragamo. Big oh, we know how I feel about Gucci. Oh my goodness. There's a door right here, a window, I guess I should say, that you can feel. It's called a wine window. Ooh. And there's actually... <laughs> Sounds like something I need in my future home. <laughs> but wine everyone... delivery? Who cares about a milkman? And an attendant would come to the window and they would sell you bottles of wine from their palace. And so as I mentioned before, she got married at 15 years old. Um, and up until that point, she was very rarely allowed to leave the house would only be allowed out of the house for two reasons church and then the other time you'd be allowed is if there was a social event at another wealthy family we could go to a bougie party a bougie party and you could weren't allowed to talk to young boys because your reputation was so important right sorry i got distracted no, by light a cell phone case store with every possible iteration of cell phone Ooh. cases she's being directed back to the phone cases oh my gosh it says it is forbidden to photograph oh wow How'd success yeah? Success! Show us what you got. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. This is the most me phone case. Boom! Tell me that is not oh, Molly man. if you ever saw it. And it even has glitter around it. Oh, I could go to sleep on this. Right? Caleb, look what I have. A bit of 
Fluffy toy. No! Nope. <laughs> he just tried to eat my phone! A very famous family that lived in Florence. They're called the Medici. They were the billionaires of the city and they kind of ran everything. This was their neighborhood. So it would be mm -hmm. like living next to the Kennedys or, you know, the Rockefellers or the Kardashians. Or Shane Dawson. Dolan twins and James Charles. Old I know lady. who James Charles is. Good for you, yes. sister. Yes, well, it's very beautiful and he does great makeup. This and he's is what... a great singer. For serious? Yeah, for sure. oh. he's really annoyingly talented. Love you, James. She's like Raphael, another one of the artists of the Renaissance. Really good looking, nice. Everybody liked to be around him. Really talented, couldn't seem to do anything wrong. And so this is where she and uh, about five of her children lived and her husband for about uh, 30 years. So this is her door jam. So this is her front door. So we maybe have 20 or 25 different occupants in here now. Um, versus at one point, which is just a single family. All right, should we go and see where Mona Lisa is buried and where she may still be ooh, haunting? Ooh, is the, there the, ghost the, stories? Can you tell me ghost stories? Well, I can tell you kind of creepy stories. Yeah, I sure. want them all. There is a big abandoned building in front of us. <gasps> Huge. It takes up an entire ooh. city block. Is This used to be a big convent, right? So a bunch of nuns lived here. So when Mona Lisa's husband died, one of her daughters was a nun that lived here. And so she moved into the convent to be with her daughter. And instead of being buried with her, her husband and her sons, she decided to be buried here with Wait, her daughter. Recently in 2012, they said, hey, the Mona Lisa was buried here. We need to go and find her tomb and excavate it. And they actually did excavate her body. <gasps> um, they found her bones, oh which were all God. crushed after years. Different, remember we talked about how Florence had floods and they never, and her skull was missing. Who stole the skull? Right? Wait, is there any creepy like tales of people seeing her? Nobody has ever, wouldn't that, we should make something up about ghost stories, no. That's good clickbait. Mona Lisa ghost stories. They didn't know until 2005 that she was a real woman. That's wild. People that used was to, only the, like 13% years ago. The theory used to be for a long time that Leonardo da Vinci, that the Mona Lisa was basically him in drag, right? I like, love that. So Molly, where uh, our last stop today is going to be to a store called the Casa de Tessuti. Actually, the last stop will be ice cream. Well, that's like the, the cherry the cherry on the sundae. Huh? And they sell cloth, right? To make beautiful clothes and whatever else you might need. They sell a lot of designer cloth. Um, but this will at least give you a chance to feel some of the textiles that uh, they would have had in the Renaissance. That egg, oh, in, indeed. Oh, yeah. it's like textured and sparkly. It's like a waffle. Oh. oh my God. This is like brain heaven. My eyes are just so happy. My brain is like firing off all the endorphins. It's beautiful. I love it. You That's, see the quality? Yeah, it's gorgeous. This is like Kim Kardashian. Feel wow, like her curves. waist, those curves. that waist though, damn. Oh, it's so pretty. And so this would give you, because Mona Lisa wears a veil, right? That covers her shoulders and covers her head. He was obsessed with kind of creating layers and layers of fabric. And so she's just covered in this lace veil. Again, because the painting is so dirty, it's very difficult to see. Okay, so I've been asked to sign the guest book at the fabric store and I'm honored because it's, you know, Cher, Daniel Day-Lewis, Molly Burke, the greats. Household names. All the greats. I'm a very talented writer. Kiss and hugs. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you again one day when I'm having my red carpet dress made. I scream, you scream, we all scream for gelato. You guys know the bougie girl that lives inside of me that loves a bit of Gucci. And the tour guide was telling me that they have a Gucci garden, which is like this crazy store that sells the only, like Gucci that you can only get here, which is really exciting. And I just really want to go see it. So. We're here, we're gonna see it. By the way, Gallup and my mom went back to the hotel ages ago, because Gallup is just super jet lagged and he's been struggling on this trip. So he's been less of a guide dog and more of a more of a rug. <laughs> Let's go see yeah. some limited edition exclusive Gucci. Oh, I love shoes. I mean, I'm a handbag girl, but shoes I'll never say no to either. Wow. <gasps> Sparkles, oh my God, look at the texture. That's wild. Oh my god, it's so sparkly. Oh, Molly, this one's a bee. Yay, see? That's why I love Gucci. What's, is this a lion? That is a lion. I feel the mane. Cute. All right, it's been a pretty big day. We have been operating all day under the promise that we would get to the ice cream. Finally get gelato, our first gelato of Italy. We are here at gelato. I would like to share 
that we're officially friends <laughs> because he walked oh. me in to something. Yeah, she walked straight into a garden bed. Into a what? It was like a, it was like a flower bed. Yeah, but that makes it sound like I walked into flowers. No, I walked into a like giant a concrete, concrete block. Concrete. All my friends have to walk me into yeah. something at least once. Oh my God, the red wine is so good. What was your favorite part about today? You know what? I actually feel like I genuinely have a way better image of Mona Lisa in my head. Yeah? Which is exactly what I wanted from this because when I go see the Mona Lisa, I'm still not gonna be able to see it. Should How's the dark chocolate? So dark chocolatey, yeah. you wouldn't like it. <laughs> I've never ever mm. had red wine sorbet before. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And I'm also a fan of my bed, so I think we should all go to bed. I think so. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been real. Thanks for hanging out with us again. And episode five coming up. So stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm just going to make it a little tighter. I mean, I'd be more stoked if I was the one driving the whole time, but I don't think Sam would be. What side of the road do they drive on again, Mom? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm kidding. The let's opposite go. side of what let's you always do. Let's do it. Okay, bye. See ya. The moment, like, I hit the air and was, like, floating, I almost got, I almost felt, like, emotional because I was just like, damn, this is why we live. You have to ride, ride out the bad and live for the good. And that was, like, a moment I was just floating there and I was this like, what it's all about. this is what it's about. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. And you, because of your blind, I think you understand more than everybody mm -hmm. what I want to share with share. them. Exactly. Right, I understand your passion more than like a lot of people get yeah, it. And that's why you touch me. I could see that like colors were fading and like I could tell. And for months, like I just knew it was time. You know, she told us that I lost a significant amount of my vision. It, like, I just went numb for, like, so long.